So iOS 18 beta 5 is finally released and it comes with big new feature that we didn't really see it coming. This was kind of an unexpected, although Apple mentioned this briefly in their WWDC event, we didn't really see any live demo. That's why this was kind of unexpected, but it's so nice to have this finally on our devices. And this big feature is distraction control. This is how it works. You're going to go ahead and open up your Safari and then load up any website that you want. Let's say I just load up this random website. This is how it works. You're going to go ahead and click on this over here. And now there is an option in the safari when you click on this button on the bottom left corner it says hide distracting items if you click on it this is how it works so you can literally remove anything that you don't want for example this one i can remove it from my screen and it's gonna just quickly disappear with that nice little smooth animation and this is really nice especially for those pop-ups that pop up on the website that distracts you or even these ads right here i can just quickly remove it although this is not meant to be ad blocker because these ads are still running in the background it's not completely stopping them or you know removing them completely because if you refresh them they're going to come up again but it's just nice to have this function where you can just focus on what you need to focus on prioritize what's important it's just really nice feature but moving on guys the next feature is the photos app photos app sees some modification this is a nice modification based on user feedback you know how on the previous photos app on the previous beta 4 photos application you could just swipe to the right and then access your photo library this is no longer an option now this is just a still just like how on the ios 17 it's just really clean you don't have to just swipe this was very confusing for many people it was kind of a hidden feature so many people didn't even know that it existed and it was just not practical so it's good that apple removed this from this place another thing is that recently saved is moved over here where you can just easily access it on your fingertips right under the collections and also if you just scroll all the way down where it says customize and reorder this button on the beta 4 was actually just customized you click on it right here as you guys can see all of this all these uh, albums which was removed from the photos library is also removed from here as well you can customize these in any order that you want for them to pop up right under your photos so it's just a lot more clear and a lot more organized which is a really really welcome change and again this just improves the overall ux of the photo application so moving on the next change is actually for the icon changes two applications got in new icons this is especially noticeable on the dark mode for the maps as well as find my iphone we have new icons slightly popping slightly more apparent i really like this change very subtle but nonetheless new change on the ios 18 beta 5 besides that we also have new changes in the control center this is how the control center looks like on the ios 18 beta 5 so first of all the icons themselves are larger if you compare it to the ios 18 beta 4 so they're a lot more easier to click and add access another change is the cellular data icon it has been changed from the an antenna icon to actually having bars so this is really nice also the low power mode has been changed previously it was a half full battery now it is a almost low battery which makes sense a lot more visually appealing as well to the eye and many more minor changes have been uh, applied in the control center i'm not going to bore you guys with too much of information you guys can go through this a lot of visual changes which is really really nice and besides that last but not least we have have e edit pages when you just go ahead and hold your screen and activate jiggle mode you actually have if you click on the edit you have a new option that says edit pages right here if you just click on it boom you can just have easy access to your different pages you can easily uncheck them or you know remove them completely by clicking on here you can delete them if you like just like so just a lot easier previously the way you could access this was actually activate jiggle mode and then click on this three dot icon this was kind of a hidden feature many ordinary average users didn't know that this actually existed so apple moving it here just makes a lot more sense right here as you guys can see and it just looks a lot better i think a lot, lot easier to access as i said also we have a changes in the if you click on this and customize we have a change to the actual order of this light dark automatic and tint previously it was automatic and then dark and light and then tinted i believe now it's just light dark automatic and tinted just a subtle change again it makes sense having the light here dark and then automatic and tinted it just makes more sense visually as well as in the in terms of ux but nonetheless guys in terms of overall performance and body life on the ios 18 beta 5 so far it has been way better than expected everything seems to be running you know completely smooth and battery is 
holding up slightly better than the previous beta 4. But nonetheless, guys, this is a short one. But thanks again for watching. This beta update is not available for the iOS 18.1. If you installed iOS 18.1, you're already ahead of this. So technically, you don't get this update. But nonetheless, guys, thanks again for watching. Make sure to give this video a like because it really helps to reach more people. And check out this video in the meantime. I'll catch you guys next video. Peace out.